Hey, so now let's have a look on to the question number 26 for solution which belongs to section E that is based on the practical skills. So this question is from Ohm's law verification experiment and this hold two marks. Let's read the question for further clarification. This says while studying the dependence of potential difference across a resistor on the current passing through it, in order to determine the resistance of the resistor, a student took 5 readings for different values of current and plotted a graph between V and I. He got a straight line graph passing through the origin. What does the straight line signify? Write the method of determining the resistance of the resistor using this graph. So let's have a look on to the solution for this question. So first of all this question demands you to write down the significance of the straight line that the student is getting. So straight line signifies that the potential difference across the resistor is directly proportional to the current flowing through it. Even if you have written this in your exam that this straight line signifies that this resistor is following the Ohm's law that is the proportionality of V and I or you have written that V is directly proportional to Y then also you are going to score one mark for this part of the question. So if you have successfully answered the significance of the straight line you are going to score one mark. You will get another one mark when you will tell that how the student is going to determine the resistance of the resistor. So you need to write that to determine the resistance from the graph the students need to read the current value in amperes and the corresponding given voltmeter readings and take the ratio V by I. So student needs to take the readings of the emitter as well as of the voltmeter and student needs to find out the slope of the drawn VI graph and the slope is going to give the student the resistance of that particular resistor that the student is using in this experiment. Okay, So to find out the resistance of the resistor student needs to calculate the slope of the drawn graph. If you have written that also you are going to get the marks for this part of the question. Further you can also write that the resistance of the conductor will be determined in ohms. Okay, So this is how you will score one mark for this part of the question also and this is how you are going to score two out of two for this choice of the question as this question was asked in the choice. So let's have a look on to the next choice of question number 26 that says what would you suggest to a student if while performing an experiment he finds that the pointer or the needle of the emitter and voltmeter do not coincide with the zero marks on the scales when the circuit is open. Further the question says no extra emitter or voltmeter is available in the laboratory. So if you are planning to write the answer for this question as that you will suggest to the student to change the emitter or voltmeter you are not going to get marks for that because it is a straightforwardly mentioned in the question that no extra emitter or voltmeter is available in the laboratory. So basically this question wants you to talk about the zero error as the pointer of the emitter and voltmeter is not coinciding with the zero mark on the scales when the circuit is open this clearly indicates that there is zero error okay so what is going to happen and how the student is going to perform the experiment you need to mention there that the pointer is above the zero mark so if the pointer is above the zero mark zero error is going to be negative and in that case what the student is going to do the number of division it is above the zero mark are to be subtracted from the reading to get the correct reading okay and if the pointer is below the zero mark the zero error will be positive and in that case the number of division it is below the zero mark are to be added to the reading. So this is how the student is going to get the correct reading from that defected emitter or voltmeter. Okay, So this is what you need to mention and you will get one mark for talking about the 
negative zero error and one mark for talking about the positive zero error and this is how you are going to score two out of two for this particular choice of question number 26 i hope this is clear to you now let's move on to the discussion for the last question of this paper that's question number 27 Hey, so it's our turn to discuss the solution for the last question of this paper. That's question number 27. This also belongs to section E that is based on the practical skills. This also hold two marks. Let's read it for more clarification. This says list four precautions which a student should observe while determining the focal length of a given convex lens by obtaining image of a distant object on a screen. So you just need to mention here the four precautions that the student should take while doing this experiment so first of all the student must keep one thing in the mind that the lens should be held in vertical position with its face parallel to the screen further a clear and the sharpest image of the distant object should be obtained by suitably adjusting the position of the lens so the student need to adjust the position of the lens till the student gets the sharpest image of the object on the screen further the student should take at least three observation okay and student should measure the distance between the convex lens and the screen very carefully so these are going to be the four observation and you are going to get half mark for writing each of it so you will get half mark for each precaution and this is how you are going to score 2 out of 2 mark for this particular question. And with this I would like to end up our discussion of class 10th science paper. I hope all these questions that we have discussed with you are very clear to you. Thank you so much for sparing your time to watch these videos. And till we meet next keep learning and exploring and stay tuned in for more video solutions on the CBSE board papers 2019.